Okay, for Canteen Cup Tuesday Part 2, I'm going to try my version of a pineapple upside down cake. Now, I've seen someone else do this on uh, another channel, and so I know I'm not the first person to try this, but mine's going to be a little different than that, guys. Uh, what I got going on here is right there, that's some dehydrated pineapple. So basically, I just took the pineapple out of a can, and it was a ring, and then dehydrated it, and it shrunk quite a bit. And then right here is some of the leftover apple crisp uh, sugar cinnamon mix that I had left over from my huckleberry pie iron and then this is uh, boy it's like a cup of cake kind of a deal uh, basically you just add three tablespoons of water and it's a pineapple flavored cake and my plan is to go ahead and just uh, mix that up and make a couple of basic uh, pineapple upside down cake muffins in my canteen cup cool. Uno, dose, three. Put some rocks in that canteen cup because I have not used the word thermal mass one, one time yet today. So uh, that's gonna help keep my uh, dessert from burning. Oh, it's a little big. That's what she said. <laughs> Gore. Nice. My crumble mixture. It's butter and it's kind of hardened up because it's fairly cool outside. So once that gets in front of the fire, I imagine that'll warm up and spread out nicely. The theory anyway. This dough will rise a little bit, so I'm gonna try to leave a little space at the top so it doesn't blow my lid off. Not really that much in here. The spoon, I should have took it off of the... All right, this is my homemade reflector oven. I watched Doug Outdoors cut one out of paper. And uh, it's basically just a sheet pan uh, that I folded in half and cut a couple of 45 degree triangles out of so I could bend the sides together like that. So hopefully it's gonna give me a little more even roasting, we'll see. All right, let's see if I can aim the thing and keep it in focus at the same time. All right, so it's about 214 on the front of the can a little warmer down at the bottom inside the foil is about 120 so quite a bit cooler on the inside all right if you're looking you're not cooking but this is for science science Oof. not much going on yet smoky all right I've made this dough once before and it's actually kind of a light dough so what I'm gonna do is uh, stick a toothpick in there this might actually be done, I just don't think it's done because it's not nice and brown like I think it's supposed to be, so. I'm right out here in a GIF. If fire was smoky and hot. Bad fire. Oh, right in the cup. No, that looks pretty well. Oh no, it's, <laughs> it's not even close. Yeah. All right. Whew. That's warm, no lies.
don't think it's done yet. Alrighty, we're calling it done. You can kind of see a little bit of a brown edge on there. Mark is fixing up the rest of the fire here. Where is he? There we are. Nice stuff. Probably done though. Yeah, it's just gooey on the bottom from my butter uh, sugar mix. All right, I'm gonna try to peel one of these out of here. We'll see if it looks like an upside down cake if my ring, oh, it's not holding. <laughs> well, you know what, they're not all winners. Let me give it a taste test anyway. Well, that's good though. Yeah, that tastes good. <laughs> Cows. Man, the cows are freaking out for some reason. Yeah, you think we were eating hamburgers or something. Mmm. <laughs> get a really strong pineapple flavor. Now we get that tartness of the pineapple, but then you get hit with that apple crumble that you put in there too. The uh, cinnamon apple crisp topping. Yeah, that's money. Here we go again. Uh -oh. Mine's not holding together. I'm just gonna have a big piece of pineapple. That's good though. Yeah, we're good. Mmm. Oh yeah, that. That apple crisp stuff. Why do you put that in anything? You probably almost could. Well, I'm reflecting on my dessert. I think what I would do again in the future is probably I shouldn't have used butter with my sugar mix. I should have just put the pineapple down, the sugar mix, and then put the dough on top. I think that butter just made it way too soft and kept it from uh, firming up and being coming out nice. But it was, good though. yeah, it was it was delicious. It was just a hot mess to look at. So uh, I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. So execution not so good, but the flavor was uh, exactly what I was hoping for. Anyhow, catch you guys later. <laughs>